Scott. And how did you get into wrestling? Do you really want to know? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, really. Um, I've been a wrestling fan all my life. Okay. My dad got me into the sport. And How old are you? I'm 26 right. now. And um, I've been athletic since I was seven years old, all through middle school, high school. After I graduated high school, I wanted to. Where'd you go to high school? Holy Cross? Painter no. <laughs> Homo High. No. Homo High. Um, Painter, Painter Tech in oh, Waterbury. Of course. <laughs> What's wrong with Holy Cross? I mean, they, they turn out good uh, people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But um, there's a wrestling school on um, East Main Street in Waterbury. Mm -hmm. um, it was called uh, it was Jason Knight's House of Pain Pro Wrestling Dojo, and I, I went there, I joined there, and I trained there. And, that was, uh, and you became a professional became wrestler? Velvet Sky. Yeah. How long did it take? It took six years, six and a half years. I just signed a contract uh, in October with TNA Wrestling. So it was a long, long, that's, hard well, you, I mean, that's, I mean, did you ever think of quitting or giving up? Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a long time to invest without uh, having time, anything on the back the end. No struggle. pun intended. Huh. <laughs> it was a struggle, and there, there were more times than one I wanted to just say. That's good. Yeah. So what, um, how did you finally get the contract? I mean, was that something that you were working towards um, while you were training? Yeah. Um, TNA Wrestling, they just started a women's division. And this is and on, they, on Spike this, TV? This is Thursday nights at 9 p.m. on Spike TV. Okay. And um, they just started a women's division, and they needed um, women for the division. Right. And um, I was good, I'm good friends with the girls. They, were, they had four or five girls there already um, that didn't wrestle. They weren't active wrestlers. And, uh, the uh, office had asked them to recommend some female wrestlers that would be good for the roster, and I was friends with them, so my name popped up. And well, good. Here. See, I mean, if you if you practice something hard enough, the good work is going to pay off. Oh yeah. And are you on television once a week, once a month? Every, How often? Yeah, every, every Thursday night. Every on Thursday. TV at 9 p.m. Do you know who your opponent is going to be each week, or no? No. no. What's your What's your record? Oh, uh, we don't keep records. You don't keep? Do the men keep records? No. Is this more entertainment? No, it's, more, than it? it's more sports entertainment than. This. And how long is the how long is the match? The match can go anywhere from three to twelve minutes or longer. Do you have to fight somebody in your weight class, or no. does it not? No. Oh, matter? absolutely not. So short <laughs> girls, fat girls, tall fat, girls doesn't uh, matter. Skinny girls, all of them. Every, yep. Every, yep. And uh, do you ever get hurt? Uh, yeah. What? Uh, how, how do you serious. get hurt by landing the wrong way? Well, or? you know, it's just. If you're not trained properly, or if you land, yeah, if you want land the wrong way, which I haven't really experienced any too much pain, but I like pain, so I, I this love is, pain. This is good. <laughs> only, only in Waterbury. Um, are you gonna move? I mean, uh, are you gonna stay in Connecticut? I'm gonna stay in Connecticut for the time being because my family's here. So. Do they, um, do they like what you're doing for them? They love it. They do. They love it. They brag about. They do. Them, especially my mom. She carries around pictures of me in her purse. Oh, look at my daughter. That's, I'm like, Mom, that's stop. That's Please. And um, how much uh, work do you have to do now in terms of practicing? I mean, have you, have you got to the point where you know everything no, and you don't have to practice? No, you never stop learning and wrestling. You do. You just, whenever, you know, whenever you have the time. And Would you, you say this is 80% entertainment, 20% uh, physical skill? I'd say or about 50 50-50. 50 /50. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, how much of it is choreographed in advance? Well, it's just... I don't want to expose. No, no, I know. But I mean, we I all mean, know what wrestling just, is all about. I mean, but as long as you know the moves, you know, you talk about it in the ring. You talk about what you're going to do. You know, if you call, if your opponent calls a move, you have to know what you they're pull hair. About. Is that part oh yeah, of the deal? I love pulling hair. <laughs> <laughs> you like getting yours? Pulled. I love it. Oh dear, that it came over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just turn the scalp though. And you do. Just work your way. No. It's okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> do you um? Uh, is it? Do you ever bleed or anything? I mean, do you get caught? Uh, By accident. Yeah. No. Not, I'm, nothing. I'm, in like the girls, we try to stay away from the blood. It's yeah. the guys that go crazy with it. Do you, uh, do you do you know the people before you fight, or do you yeah. hate these people? I hate everybody. You do? Yeah, you especially everybody. in the morning. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. No. Yeah, that's great. Now, um, all right, who's who's on the phone? This is this is somebody that, that spots your ass in the movie. Yeah, Jeremy uh, is one of the male characters in the movie. There's four main characters, four male four main male characters in the movie. Jeremy's one of them, and he's gonna be walking down the street checking out girls butts as he's walking and it kind of a tie-in with your show today yeah. that he checks out one butt which is going to be Velvet Sky's butt. butt is famous. Her butt is famous so <laughs> we're going to check out the famous butt. He's going to check out another butt. The third butt he sees, he sees a male's hand grab, camera pans up and it's revealed that it's his friend's girlfriend so he catches his friend's girlfriend out with another guy. I got you. So and, er and earlier in the movie uh, the way the boyfriend kind of gets suspicious is you know a strange text message on the phone. Ah, oh, oh, yes. Man. Jeremy, did you enjoy the your work in the movie? 
Uh, well, what, what did you think? Now, whose butt did you see uh, initially? Was it Paige's or, um, or Velvet Skies? Oh, so wow. this is the scene that's filming yeah. uh, at yeah. the end of oh, May. So he yeah. hasn't seen them, these girls yet. He hasn't seen it live in person yet. So he wow. kind of does his part of the movie someplace else. No, and, he's and gonna, he, no, he's going to be walking on the same street as, the, as these is. people. And when is this uh, last shot going to be shot? Uh, again, probably June seventh. We're shooting it in Blueback Square in front of the National Gene Company store. And National Gene Company is the store, and in tie with J Brand Jeans, they're putting the jeans on Velvet Sky. Best the best she never, yeah. yeah. And really, you should see her butt in J Brand jeans. Huh? Oh, I mean, that, uh, it's good enough in the jeans that you're wearing. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's fabulous in anything. So, scene takes place in that, in front of National Jeans, just a regular street walking scene, like anybody, just a normal day in the in the city type of thing. And this guy's just strolling along, checking out girls. And then again, the reveal happens where he catches the other girl. All right. And uh, I think that what we're going to look for one more girl. Yeah, we need one, one. We need one more girl with a great ass to compete with her. Is that the deal? I guess compete if someone can compete with that, you know. But uh -huh. who, who would be better suited, maybe, than Sebastian, to find that other? Life? Well, all right. So where where can we? Um, we're going to have to have some kind of get together yeah. where we'll have a bunch of girls come down or something, or do know, it someplace, or uh, with with great asses. And I mean, can you have one more in the movie? Yeah, yeah. we need we need, we need one, one more. more. We need one more. For competition, yeah. so the two of you be walking to, down the street together, and, and this guy's going to decide which one he's going to well, pass on just, the end. He's just checking out, you know, checking out butts. All right. Uh, but National Gene will do. Uh, they're willing to do a whole final thing, like with a runway. We can have like a, uh, you know, like a red carpet type of runway, raised runway, like the models do, like a catwalk, yeah. and have like a whole butt. Thing. So now this uh, this this uh, arbitrary woman that we haven't found yet to, to be in the movie yeah. is she going to be seen at all, or is just the ass going to just seen? be the ass? There's going to be an establishing wide shot, you know, to get National Gene in there because they're the sponsor. Of, of this whole thing. Have you ever entered any um, body competitions or anything like that before you became a wrestler? Or, a you hot know, body contest. Hot body contest. Club, How'd you do with that? $100. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's fabulous. That's really, really Bad. cool. Um, all right, so um, I think we got this all straightened out now. The movie is going to eventually play in theaters. You're promising me that. <laughs> yes, definitely. It's, not it's, gonna, it's, it's 98%. What's the rating finished? of the movie? Um, yeah, it would, yeah, it's an R movie. It's R? The language. Oh, language. language. Oh, R does not make <laughs> it. All yes, doesn't make an R rating. Language makes R rating yeah, and yeah. sex makes R rating. Usually dialogue has nothing well, we to do with it. Well, language, language in the dialogue. Yes. No, it is nothing. I mean, it is, there, is there a sex part in the movie? No. There's sexual situations. But yeah, there's a lot of language. I mean, is it more innuendo than anything else? There's a little bit of everything. Are there are there uh, are there sex acts in the movie? There are acts of sexuality in the film. Not <laughs> yeah, but the, not but the display. lead the, the the woman lead that uh, vet in court or whatever the hell her name yeah. is. Yeah, Yuritza. Yeah. She's a virgin. So they don't have to always do it for real. Actress. Huh? <laughs> she's an actress, right? She can. She's not lying. Well, I, I think no, no. You know, this script probably has more f words than Pulp Fiction in it. So, oh, I see. So that's why. You know. Now, why did you find it? I mean, this is not. Deb Simmons, or I mean Russell Simmons, uh, comedy jam. Or whatever. why do you find the need to put so many F words in the movie? Uh, the characters. I mean, um, I've written stuff that where people don't swear, and these characters happen to swear all the time. Not all the time, but enough. I mean, in a PG-13 movie, you could say it over three times. You're looking at an R rating. Is that right? Is that Sometimes what makes it? One. Is that yeah, what makes it an R? Yeah. yeah. So just uh, a preponderance of F words will take it to an R level. Right. Actually, Clerks was going to be NC-17 based just on both. I theory. didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was mostly sex that would yeah, uh, make an R rating, but language will do it yeah, too. Right. Did you ever think about cutting out on some of the language so that you could make this more appealing to uh, other age groups, or did that not matter? Uh, no, I mean, because to be honest, I wasn't writing it thinking about who, you know... Who's going to say it? Yeah, I was writing it thinking, well, these are the characters, if they're going to say a certain word, then they're going to say it. And there actually were a couple of scenes where I thought it went overboard, I took it out, and then I realized, no, it's got to be in there, there's a reason why it's in there in the first place. So there were a couple of scenes that are a little... And I wound up taking them out in one draft and then wound up putting it back in because I was kind of chickening myself out. Okay, so, I think I understand. Yeah, so that argument that takes in place in front of you at the museum scene has got... Oh, good. Lily, how many F-words in there? Well, there was a lot of F-words between me and the museum <laughs> worker <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm sure that had to get spliced out. How long is the actual movie when, it, when it's completed? Uh, it's going to probably be about an hour 40, hour 45. I'm going to try to keep it as short to 90 minutes as possible. I mean, if you do two hours or less, people will stay interested. Yeah, I mean, in, unless it's something absolutely... You know, epic. Once you go over two hours, uh, yeah, you know, people are going to get bored yeah, and uh, yeah, they're yeah. not going to like it. All right. So when are you uh, when are you all meeting next? You know, where you're actually going to get together and.